Learning to shoot products is an essential skill that you must have, whether using for creative usage or for B-roll or for an actual commercial usage. You must learn how to shoot a product. And we're gonna use a three-point lighting system to get effective shots using different subjects and different materials, and we're all gonna do it with a piece of junk instead of a slider. Now when I say piece of junk, I really mean piece of junk. The thing costs $20. It's just a metal plate with three quarter 20 holes in it and a couple of wheels that you can pivot. But it outperforms any slider you're gonna get for $100. So don't waste your money on those things. This thing will far outperform that. What's ridiculous about this thing is they actually wasted their time to paint these numbers on there. And they're not a reference to anything. There's no indicator of what your angle is on that. They're just some numbers painted on it. Now this thing is so simple, it'd be really easy to build yourself. But chances are it's gonna cost you more than $20 just to get all the parts for it. And really the thing's so small, it's easy to just throw in your bag, take with you, and just have it as one of those options whenever you're out on a shoot. And this is what we're gonna use today. I'd resist calling this a cheap setup, though it's very affordable. Uh, I probably have about $1,000 worth of lighting equipment, and that includes my homemade light with my LifeX bulbs, which you can find out more about here, and a couple of LED panels. And that's what I've been using to shoot all my videos so far. So just look at my other videos and you'll get an idea of what kind of lighting you can get with that setup. What differentiates a product shot in video versus photography is motion. Without it, we'd only have a still picture on screen. But like photography, we need to light our subject correctly and we need to choose the right kind of a background. A background that is too busy or similar in color can make it hard to see the subject that we're trying to see. Using a contrasting background and adding separation will make your subject more clear. Though you could use creative license to get a punch or effect. Just don't put out the wrong idea, like putting a smoke effect on a brand new lithium battery bank or a smartphone. And when filming clear objects, you wanna make sure that you backlight your subject. That is, make sure your lights are off to the side and behind your subject rather than in front. And shiny objects should be shot with diffuse light using modifiers like umbrellas, scrims, or a bounce. And in all the shots today, all the motion came from using that cheap skater dolly. If you're interested in the skater dolly or the articulating arm, I'll put a link in the description below and you can have your own piece of crap. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.